Hello and welcome! This video will provide you with information about the highly capable program in the Edmonds School District. In this video, we'll discuss the highly capable program structure, high school options for students in the highly capable program, transportation to and from highly capable schools, the qualities of a highly capable student, assessment and identification procedures, referrals and the referral process, and we'll go over some frequently asked questions. To find the most up-to-date information, please check out the Highly Capable and Gifted Programs website by going to edmunds.wednet.edu, click on Programs, and select Highly Capable and Gifted Programs. You can also click the link in the description of this video. Here are some highly capable program attributes in the Edmonds School District. Here, the program runs at a different pace, complexity, and instruction, with an emphasis on higher level thinking and problem solving skills. Curriculum is on grade level in all but math and accelerated and taken deeper. Math is taught one year above grade level in grades first through sixth. Class size numbers are expected to be the same as general education classes. It's also important to note that all types of students can be gifted, including those students with special learning needs. It's also important to note that the highly capable program in Edmonds is not a private school and is not a self-paced program. The elementary highly capable program in Edmonds is located at Terrace Park Elementary. It is often referred to as the Challenge Program. It runs from first grade through sixth grade. Students who are identified for the program will move to Terrace Park as that will become the student's new home school. Students are in classes with other gifted peers. Transportation will be provided from many neighborhood schools to Terrace Park and then back to the neighborhood school. It's important to know that students will not be able to ride the school bus between their home and the neighborhood school to catch the bus to Terrace Park. The highly capable program in middle school runs through grades 7th and 8th. It is located at Briar Terrace Middle School, which will become the student's new home middle school. Students will work with gifted peers in science and an English social studies humanities block. Students are placed in appropriate level math classes using the district process, which tends to be one to two years above grade level for highly capable students. Students have access to a variety of elective classes. Transportation is provided from many neighborhood schools to Briar Terrace Middle School and back to the neighborhood school. Like with elementary, students will not be able to ride the school bus between their home and neighborhood school to catch the bus to Briar Terrace Middle School. High school options for the highly capable program in the Edmond School District run through grades 9 through 12. Students select one of four accelerated options upon entering ninth grade. These accelerated options are available at all four of the district's comprehensive high schools. Each of the high schools has honors courses, advanced placement or AP courses, college and high school courses, and running start. In addition to these options that are at each of the comprehensive high schools, there are also two specialized programs. We have a STEM magnet high school program that's located at Mount Lake Terrace High School. There's also an international baccalaureate or IB program located at Edmonds Woodway High School. 
It is very important to note that there's no transportation available for options other than students' neighborhood high schools. Transportation to the district's highly capable elementary and middle schools picks students up from nearby or at their neighborhood elementary school. It's very important to know that the bus that runs from nearby each student's home to the neighborhood elementary school would arrive at the elementary school too late for the transportation from the elementary school to the highly capable schools. So transportation would need to be provided by the family from the home to the nearby pickup site. However, once the students are at the nearby pickup site, the school bus will take them from those sites and then to the highly capable elementary and middle schools, Terrace Park School and Briar Terrace Middle School. At the end of the day, the school bus would pick the students up at the middle and elementary or Terrace Park and Briar Terrace Middle and then take them back to the same stop they were picked up at in the morning. So who is a highly capable or gifted student? Well, a definition of students who are highly capable are students who perform or show potential for performing at significantly advanced academic levels when compared with others of their age, experiences, or environments. Outstanding abilities are seen within students' general intellectual aptitudes, specific academic abilities, and or creative productivities within a specific domain. Highly capable learning characteristics are capacity to learn with unusual depth of understanding, to retain what has been learned, and to transfer learning to new situations. It's capacity and willingness to deal with increasing levels of abstraction and complexity earlier than their chronological peers. Creative ability to make unusual connections among ideas and concepts. Ability to learn quickly in their area or areas of intellectual strength. And the capacity for intense concentration and or focus. To identify students for the highly capable program in the Edmonds School District, we use two different assessments depending on students' grade levels. For second and sixth grade students, we use the Naglieri Nonverbal Ability Test, or the NNAT3. Every second and sixth grader in the district are screened using this assessment. This assessment is commonly used and accepted for use in highly capable student identification across the country. The test measures students' general reasoning abilities. It features pictorial direction and does not require spoken or written language. The test takes between 30 and 45 minutes for students to complete. The screener, coupled with other assessments, will be considered for entry into the program. The other assessment used for the identification process is called the Cognitive Abilities Test, or the COGAT. This test is also commonly used and accepted as assessment for use in highly capable student identification across the country. This test is used in kindergarten, first, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh grades. So all of the grades except for second and sixth grade where all of the students are assessed using the NNAT. The COGAP measures students' learned reasoning abilities in the three areas most linked to academic success in school, picture and verbal analogies, number analogies, and figure matrices. COGAT scores and other district assessments will be used to determine identification for the program. In addition to the COGAT and NNAT assessments, many other academic assessments are also used in the identification and placement process. Identification decisions are made by a committee of educators who have experience 
working with highly capable and gifted students. Other assessments that the committee considers when making identification decisions are the Smarter Balance Assessment for both ELA and math, the fifth grade science WCAS or WACAS test, iReady assessments, which are given in the district, WIDA assessments, which are used for multilingual students, and other information and testing results such as Acadience testing, student report cards, and referral documents from teachers and families. The committee that makes identification and placement decisions is called the Multidisciplinary Placement Committee. This committee includes a classroom teacher, a highly capable program teacher, a school psychologist, or a counselor, and a highly capable program administrator from the school district. The committee considers all information, including the application and other requested information, in determining the most highly capable students. An emphasis on a preponderance of evidence that the student is among the most highly capable and needs highly capable services is used when making identification decisions. So how does the referral process work? First, students must live in the Edmond School District service area or go to an Edmond School District school to be referred and tested. A parent guardian, teacher, or a community member may refer a student. The referral and permission to test form must be completed by a parent or guardian. While completing the referral and permission to test form, you'll need to upload your student's most recent report card, with the exception of current kindergartners. The referral forms are available electronically and are on the Highly Capable website. For the most up-to-date timelines and deadlines for referrals and the identification process, please look at the Edmond School District Highly Capable website. Some questions to consider as you think through referring your student may be some of these. Should my student be tested for the Highly Capable program? If you're not sure, ask your student's current teacher for their opinion. Have any of your child's previous teachers talked to you about challenge or gifted testing? Try some practice problems. Google COGAT, C-O-G-A-T, practice problems, and have your student try some. If your student is happy, doing well, and thriving in school, they might be in just the right place to be successful already. For more current and updated information, please check the district website. You can find this at www.edmunds.wednet, that's W-E-D-N-E-T, dot E-D-U. From there, click on Programs, then Highly Capable and Gifted Programs. If you have questions or concerns about your student, you may call or email. Our number is 425-431-7157, or you can reach us at email at highlycapable at edmunds.wednet.edu. Thank you so much for your time and listening to this video presentation.